Bob Bennett. Our judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham, Dave Moretti. This 13 victories coming by way of knockout. 26 victories, no defeats. 17 victories coming by way of knockout. Both sides, now gentlemen, when I'm not using your pressure, I get under caution to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And when I say you must have touch them up. Good luck, good luck. On, underway, the two undefeated champions, Tim Bradley. What are you looking for early out of Jose Ramirez? I'm looking for both guys, actually, to, to establish the jab. Whoever establishes the jab first and controls the pace will have the advantage in the first half of this fight. The reason I asked you specifically about Ramirez, and Dre, I'll bring this to you, is because of what he told us just 48 hours ago about a change in what we normally see with his fighting style. A little more judicious, a little more refined and economical. See, right there, that's what Taylor needs to do. He needs to step around right there with his jab. Get his foot outside the lead foot of Jose's. Shots, whatever you can get, get it as early and often as you need to. The biggest issue right now with Ramirez is, oh, nice left hook to the body. That's the punch he needs to land, but it was all set up by the jab. And then he goes to the body again, so Ramirez, good. Taylor with a straight left hand. Well placed hand right there, left hand from Taylor. Both guys finding success. That's calling for quick breaks. And both these fighters like to fight inside, so I would like to let him, I'd like to see him allow them to fight and get Ramirez to commit with a shot. Nice body shot right there from Taylor. After the right hand came in from Ramirez, he wants to draw him in. It changed to his team two fights ago. He has 28-year-old Ben Davison, who we saw a couple years ago with Tyson Fury, and of course, Jose Ramirez with the veteran Robert Garcia. Let's listen in. 10 to 3 connect advantage in round one. Tessa was all set up by the movement and just controlling the distance outside. You see the little probing jab right there? What that doing is manipulating the guard, trying to get those hands away from the face of Ramirez. So that way he can land the backhand. Mm. Ramirez is having a hard time dealing with the speed and the quickness of Taylor. Taylor is a sensational athlete. With the faster guy, so he can land his shot just like that inside of Taylor's shots. Nice cutoff right there for Ramirez. There's a left hand to the body, took the angle to the right, and you can see Jose Ramirez. And we know that Ramirez is the guy that typically starts a little. Look at that jab, that's Doubles the jab. Up. Yes. Doubles up that jab, good work from the Tartan Tornado. Look at that film. Taylor wasn't a good jabber. He would abandon his right hand. Ramirez for a moment trying to close the gap and now working behind the jab himself. Was able to go to the body a couple of times. See if he brings that right hand, takes that angle to the right and lands the left to the body. And now more on the offensive here in the final minute of round number two. Good fight, uppercut comes in from Jose Ramirez. Good. Going to take a short break here at the end of two. It's for capacity. Come next week, that's not the case here in Vegas. The lucky ones who are in here, they're seeing a great fight. He changes the attack point and also the rhythm. Good straight left to the straight right to the body, followed by a left hook. There that he is was a nice combination. Right hand to the body, and he digs in again, and now closing that gap is Ramirez. This is where he does his best work. Two times he went with the left hook to the body, splits the guard with the right hand, throws the uppercut as Taylor is covering up against the ropes and now looks to tie up. He wasn't on, along those ropes. That, that means something hurt him, a body shot or a head shot. And now Taylor having some effective work on the inside, just missed with that southpaw right hook. Nice, upper, nice uppercut right there from Taylor. That's the shot, that's the money shot. Ooh, and Good straight, straight left. left from Taylor. This is high level stuff. Steps forward. Right to the inside. Work about high jab. Oh, good right hand to the body. And he goes again, digs with the right hand to the body again. This is what it's supposed to look like Angle. at this level. This level of intensity, this level of purpose. That's also wearing Taylor down little by little. Ramirez coming straight at Taylor. 
Two punch combination, lunging from distance, went with the right uppercut, and now on the attack. Look at this assault from Jose Ramirez. This is a great round. Good stuff here in Vegas. Wow. Jay Ramirez had a 25 to 11 connect advantage. He threw 30 more punches than Taylor. 21 of his 25 connects were power shots. Round number four. And the chant of Jose, Jose starts up in Vegas. For him. Ooh. Left hand comes in from Taylor. He has such a skilled use of that left hand in many ways. Ramirez goes back to the body. On. Closes the gap again and finds success. And Taylor able to wrap up and just a little bit of room for Ramirez to let loose again. It's the body work, fellas. It's not the head shot, it's the That's body right. shot. There's a straight right hand. That's what's slowing Taylor down, and he doesn't know how to defend against the body work. He'll cover up, he's tough, he'll fight back, but he doesn't really know how to aim. on his jab, he has a lot of success in rounds. He needs to not abandon He turned him around right there. Hey, it's a fight. They were, they were expecting a break, and said, Taylor says, no, this is a fight, and I'm gonna chase you down. No, you don't expect a break. You stay protected until That's you're right. out of harm's way. That's right. Wait, this, thing, this is only round four. That's the energy in this room, the level of intensity, it is palpable, and it is right. But you negotiate. Ramirez has to negotiate. Ooh, good shot right there. Ramirez, Another good shot. He hurt him with that able shot. Able to land it. Taylor hurt him with that shot. The body shot on Ramirez. And look at Ramirez. Now Ramirez is teeing off, Tim. Now he's coming back strong right now. Look yes. at Ramirez here. Shoulder to shoulder. Taylor trying to dig in for something here. Final moments, a round four separation, and a left hand comes. How even was that fourth round? Both men landed 10 punches, and then there was that moment, Timmy, with 30 seconds to go, where they land simultaneously. That's the signature body shot right there from Taylor. He lands right as Ramirez is coming with the left foot, right in the solar plex, and that's why I said Ramirez was hurt. You've seen him crouch down and go forward. He was hurt by that body shot. Strong body work from Taylor there. He landed four body connects. Good work up top from Ramirez. Total body punches, which Dre, you said, is the key to victory for Ramirez if he can stay the course. Big edge, Ramirez. That's where he's getting punches for 10, 15, 20 seconds. And that'll also open up the head shots a little bit easier for Ramirez. First round, no doubt, Taylor. With the blood in his eyes. That same eye's been cut five times in his professional boxing career. This is the sixth. Oh, headbutt again. Southpaw versus Orthodox. Get used to it. See that blood streaming to the outside, around the corner of the cheek, not going into the eye. But obviously, Josh Taylor saying stylistically, I'm all wrong for Jose that. Ramirez. See Josh Taylor holding on right now to getting hit. After landing a good shot, but then getting caught with the left hook. The left hook from Ramirez can be so dangerous, especially at this range. Digging under with right hands to the body is Jose. Separation and a right hook from Taylor. Lead left. Good shot. The 22 by 22 foot ring here at the theater at Virgin Hotels, Las Vegas. Oh! And opening up this sixth round, Josh Taylor scores the knockdown. He caught Ramirez. And he's got a lot of time to work with. Let's see how Ramirez looks. He's been down two times in his career. Josh Taylor, big moment here. Halfway through this undisputed championship fight. And Ramirez battles back and he lands a left hook up top of his own. For him. Come through that front. Oh, lead oh. right hand from Ramirez. And he was hurt with that shot right there. It buzzed him, but he's in good shape. Ramirez is now on the attack as he scores the right hand against Taylor. 
Taylor looking for a southpaw hook of his own. Good body shot right there from Taylor. Short and tight with it, Dre. Neither fighter should abandon the bottom. He will not see it coming. Oh, beautiful There's shot. There's a left hand again. Skill and the speed of Josh Taylor. Dig to the body. Instead, Taylor is having a big round number six. But as is always the case with Jose, you know you're going to get that grit, determination, and that heart. Josh Taylor logging himself a 10-8 round here in round number six. Big moment. Ozzy's going to commit. What did he do? He waited on the right hand. He slipped off to his left. Boom. Nice counter over the top. We call that a pull counter. Here it is again. Money. Where is Ramirez doing? He's coming forward. So it's double impact. It's a head-on collision. So it makes it even a harder shot. And then take some in order to get some. Round number seven. Josh Taylor is 66 to 65, connect advantage. The power punches land in the last round, 13 to 11, but circle the one that counts the most, the left hand, that pull counter left hand, 10 seconds in to that round, and a 10-8 round for Josh Taylor. I think that straight left. Uppercut. Uppercut. There it is. Made and he ties weird. up the yeah. ability to time it as he's coming through the front door and catch Ramirez. Nice catch and shoot. Uppercut right puts him down. What a shot. Josh Taylor floors Jose Ramirez. He pinged him, Tartan, didn't he? That uppercut. Ramirez on wobbly legs. Taylor in complete control. was a massive shot as the bell closes it out. Round number seven, bank it for the Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor. It's from the 30-year-old Taylor. Just this great experience right here from Taylor. Pushes off, gets a little distance, boom, creates a little short, little space for that uppercut. Ramirez never saw it coming. Can't relax on the inside. This is not the amateurs. You got to protect yourself inside until you're out of harm's way. Ramirez relaxed, and Taylor took advantage of it. Nothing goodness. wrong with that shot that Taylor hit him with. Mm, mm, mm. That Jose shot. Ramirez has to find something. Josh Taylor is closing in on crowning himself, of making history. That was a rookie mistake. Yeah, I'm a veteran fighter. Be emotional. You knew there was going to be a lot of talking. But there's been a lot of punching, too. And Ramirez has gotten the worst of it. There's no peace treaties on the inside. You make the referee do his job. The Taylor's going down to the body. That's what you do when you have your opponent hurt. And you've knocked him down several times. You have to continue to commit to the body to weaken him to bring those hands down. I think it's a good time for Taylor to open up with both hands right now and trust that even though Ramirez will throw back, he doesn't have the same pop that he had and Team Ramirez can make right now to turn the tide of this fight. Taylor gets another good shot in there, fellas. It may be trouble. Trying to get his, his head back, his wits back, so he can get back to the game plan. Very difficult because he got hit with a big shot that he didn't see. He's waiting for any low. From Ramirez, and also he's waiting to catch a shot. Stop, stop, stop. Catch and shoot. Look of his pants. Beautiful uppercut, beautiful shot by Josh Taylor. Now number nine. Reminder that the NBA playoffs will follow this undisputed championship fight. Portland and Denver set to go. Game one, first round action as soon as Ramirez and Taylor finish up. 
Fellas, Taylor, Taylor don't want to just win a decision. He's looking for a knockout. They're from Ramirez. Good shot from Ramirez. Good answer from Taylor. Seems to me that Taylor's kind of taking this round off right now. Get his right guard up. And now it's changing in the center of the ring in these final moments of round nine. And you ask yourself, if it gets desperate for Jose Ramirez, what can he pull out deep as he fights right to and nearly through the belt? You listen in to Robert Garcia with Jose Ramirez of what you're fighting for and what you have to do and the urgency that's needed saying this is for all of Mexico. This is for your family. This is for who you represent. It is that point in the fight and it may be that desperate for Jose Ramirez as he has been knocked down twice. Can get the finish that he says and guarantees he will get. This is a fight that many have been looking at to say how do you change up the top 10 in the pound for pound? If there is that kind of finish, an undisputed champion who could close it out with a knockout win. You know, if you're Jose... Now doubling it up. Feels like he's in control, and then comes the left hand when he can get it. Tess, he's using all kind of tactics. Beautiful skill work by Josh Taylor. That away, pops him right in the middle. Looking on the backhand, the back fist. Waiting for Ramirez to commit. The distance, fighting on the outside. Oh, oh Ramirez finds something as Taylor went straight back, and he followed him and threw two punches up top. That's there all the time, Tess. Oh, and then there's the left hand from Taylor to answer. Stop, stop, stop. That might have stole the round for Ramirez. Mom Juanita. Carlos saw Marisol there. San Mateo, who's now five years old, he's off in ringside for his fights. Catalina, mm. baby made the trip here to Vegas as well. Anytime Ramirez gets on that jab, he has a lot of success. There's that counter left again. That's why it's very important, Tess, to switch up the rhythm. He has to switch up his rhythm, he has to think. Act like he's going to commit. Uh, physically and psychologically. And so far, Ramirez has not been able to hook and then had to deal with a badly swollen shut right eye and couldn't even see most of his work. He said, I couldn't even see my own jab when I threw it. And he finished strong to become a unified champion. And now here he is in round 11, championship rounds, potentially about to make history unless Ramirez can do something like this. Could he find something here? Ramirez coming on strong here. Final half minute of round 11. What does he have? Taylor's tying up on the ESPN app. A full post-game show, all the interviews, everything you need for Ramirez Taylor deep into the night on the app. From crowning an undisputed champion, Ramirez being told from Garcia, valiant, brave, daring, straight right. He needs something big here. Two 10-8 rounds, knocked down twice. Dre's got Taylor up 106-101. Taylor was told, here's what you do, and if you get in trouble, you tie up. What does Ramirez have? Where does hope lie for him here, Tim? Well, he has to start off his jab. That's what he has to do, and he has to find a way to get in the inside. But the boss and close the fight strong. Ooh, hurt him with that left hook. Ramirez has to let loose. He has to try to buy the lottery ticket and cash it. And put his chin because he's never been down, amateur or a pro. Left hand lands from Taylor. Or in control. Knockdown scored in six, knockdown scored in seven. And now under a minute to go. Good right hand from Ramirez right there. Half a minute to go. Ramirez has to find the home run. Stop, stop. Tying up again. Stop, stop, stop. 15 to surge up the pound for pound rankings. Ramirez, what does he have? Here's the clap and let's loose right to the bell. 
Special night for Josh Taylor. Special night for the sport. But here's what turned the fight, Timmy. Round six, the pull counter left. Pull counter left. Down goes Ramirez. Double impact head on collision. Then the seventh round, Dre, the uppercut. Yeah, Ramirez, veteran fighter, made a rookie mistake, relaxed on the inside. Taylor took full advantage of it, and that's a devastating shot. It's one thing to get hit with a hook, a straight shot, but an uppercut that you don't see, it's extremely hard to overcome and recover from. I don't think Ramirez fully over, uh, overcame that and recovered from it, and I think it showed. In it. Those two teams were going at it in a hallway. This is what the sport does when two men take each other to that place and embrace Sports. We go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Tim Cheatham, Dave Moretti, and Steve Weisfeld all score the bout 114-112 for your winner by unanimous decision. And now, the undisputed junior welterweight champion of the world, John!